really privileged today as well to have Jason Beiju with me uh, from Tax Consulting South Africa. And I've got one big question when it comes to Namibian residency is, is what, what, what happens with tax systems that side? Is it a lot different of South, to South Africa? Is there benefits when it comes to tax of moving to Namibia? Jason, do you want to answer that question for me? Morning, Heidring, and morning to everyone that's tuning in. So when we look at the Namibian tax system, Namibia and South Africa were very, very similar for a long time. And Namibia has actually retained their source-based system, whereas South Africa has moved to a residency-based system back in 2001. Now, ultimately what this means is in Namibia, Namibian tax residents are only taxed on income that is derived from a Namibian source or deemed to be derived from a Namibian source. Now, that being said, there are certain additional caveats such as a living annuity that's paid from South Africa. However, in the normal course, standard practice is that the policy provider will deal with the Namibian revenue authorities in terms of obtaining the relevant directive for the taxation of that benefit. Now, when we look at the tax system holistically, the Namibia follows a very similar tax table system to South Africa, where your upper echelon is 1,500 NAD, uh, 1.5 million NAD, um, which is equivalent to 1.5 million rands, as the Namibian um, dollar is pegged against South African rand on a one-to-one -one basis. Now, the actual percentage of that echelon, as you know, in South Africa, we're hitting a 45% right at the top. Now, Namibia comes in significantly lower at a 37%, whereas their corporate rate on the other side averages at 32, soon to be 31, mirroring South Africa's 28, soon to be 27. The biggest benefit you are going to get in Namibia is there is no capital gains tax, nor is there any estate duty. And furthermore, because of the source-based tax system, you are not taxed on worldwide income and it is not similar to South Africa where there is that deemed disposal calculation on your worldwide assets either. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely some big big benefits that he mentioned there and I think especially for people that, that's moving on a little bit in years, I think that's a very big consideration, especially the estate duty. I mean, that thing is something that kills a lot of people. Correct, correct. With the estate duty, what ends up happening is you almost double tax, but in the same jurisdiction. Mm. Now, in Namibia, that's done away with the capital gains, is done away with, and from a, from a taxation perspective, when it comes to actually obtaining that Namibian tax residency, has to be broken with South Africa formally. It needs to be formally broken by the financial immigration process or alternatively by application of the double taxation agreement between South Africa and Namibia, with Namibia being one of the 23 African states which South Africa has a DTA.